Hello and welcome. Today I am going to play Shaman Leader, the World War II ground combat solitaire strategy game. It is a solitaire game uh, released by Dan Versen Games and it was probably the first game uh, of this company in my collection. Uh, I have uh, Shaman Leader and Warfighter. Uh, so far I think I like Warfighter much but Shaman Leader is also a pretty good game. It is not a very uh, complicated game. It is quite a good game if you wanted to start your adventure with Solitaire War games. And I think this, uh, this was the game that made me m more into this uh, kind of games. I purchased some more of these games later. So, all I, ca all I can say it is uh, a good game. Uh, I, sometimes I think that this game uh, has, hasn't as much climate as... Uh, Warfighter has, but still it can be fun to play. And I decided to play, to try uh, Philippines uh, campaign from the Pacific Theater of War. So far I played uh, European or African scenarios and today I decided to play something from the Pacific Theater of War and start with Philippines 1942. So this is, uh, this is a scenario I'm going to play with a cut of uh, objective. Cut-off objective is pretty good for video recording because it takes only three weeks, so I think this will fit in the three uh, different videos, one for each week. So, what do we know about this uh, scenario? First of all, uh, this is introductory scenario. We will need jungle uh, terrain uh, tiles for this uh, game, and we have to roll for enemy aggressiveness. If we roll one, uh, two, or three, we will roll for, with d6, and if we roll 10 to 4, we will roll with d10. So, <clears throat> let's try. If we get, uh, we want to get 1 or 3, 1, 2 or 3, but... Oh, after all, this is Philippines, <coughs> Japanese uh, forces are very aggressive, so we will roll with d10. I will place d10 here, just to remember about it, or maybe in different color, because I will need this one to roll for attacks. Okay, next. Uh, we have uh, 16 special operation points to spend on our units, but this card tells us that we uh, uh, that our resources are lowered by 9. So we don't have 60, but we have 51. No good. And aggressive add plus 1 to battalion move rolls and limit 2 armor in command. So we, do, we cannot get more than 2 armor in our units. This is no no good. And next, our commanders. We have to get five regulars, then we get four greens, three average and one skilled. Since we have only 51 uh, sp special operation points, I don't think that we will re get any of these cool commanders. We will stay with re recruits and greens. And special rule. If we uh, uh, eliminate three enemy, three enemy battalions, we will get 10 special operation points, and if this number will uh, reach four enemy battalions being destroyed, we will get ad ad another seven special operation points. This is pretty important because we get no weekly special operation points in this scenario, so no reinforcements, we are fighting with uh, everything we have and no more. So let's place these cards where they should be. And now it's time to uh, buy our units. But before we will start buying our units, we have to check enemy units. So we have to take enemy cards and make three stacks one for assault, one for supply, and one for comet. Okay, and now we have to check how many points of enemy battalions we will have to face in this scenario. It, this card says 23 battalion points, so we have to draw two assault card, one supply and one command. So <clears throat> it is four and two, so it is six, eight and five, so eight plus five it is thirteen, fifteen. 18, 21, and hell, 29. E and yes, we have to take this card, because we, uh, we, uh, we, we have to stop 
once we will reach and go through 23. So it was 21, so I have to take this card. Hell, this is 8, but this is 2610. This is main hit quarter. This is some kind of uh, ultimate boss uh, in this scenario, I believe. So these are our enemies. We will have to face and we have to set them up. We have to take their battalion counters and place them here where uh, on, the, on this uh, enemy battalion move table. So I have their counters so I can place them. And now 2C starts in enemy rear so it is here and it is fixed so it cannot move. 2A starts in front 10A starts in front. One A in enemy rear. Convoy it is one S in enemy breakthrough. Five S in enemy rear. 5C in enemy rear and 4A in front. Okay, so we have three enemy units in front. So they are, uh, they, they are going to be our primary targets since we have to destroy them as soon as, po as quick as possible because otherwise they might reach these two zones and for every enemy unit here we have to pay uh, some special operation, operation points at the end of this week and you you might re remember that we have a very limited uh, number of special operation points so as soon as we get rid of them the better okay so that's for the enemy uh, battalions Na next we have to take a proper number of uh, Japanese tanks and put them into opac cap we are fighting in 42 so we need to take 395 tanks 597 tanks and 297 E tanks and put them into opaque cup and shuffle to uh, make uh, so uh, so we will have a cup to draw enemy tanks every time we will face enemy unit with tanks so that's for enemy preparations and now we can go into our units we have uh, we have uh, 51 points of special operations to uh, choose and buy uh, our units and we have to remember about this limit that we can have no more than two armor in command so here's my army I have two rifle teams one machine gun team one mortar team one M3 Lee tank one M3 half track and one MT with 75 millimeters gun Okay, why this unit? First, I have on very very limited number of special operation points, so I had to ch I couldn't choose many of my units. Of course, I, I could take more bad units, but well, I want to do some uh, compromise between uh, 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 weak units and some better ones. So, I have two rifle teams because there will be probably a lot of jungle fighting, so I need infantry. I have a machine gun because I expect to see many of the enemy infantry units so machine gun with high explosive attack of 2 will be definitely something we need. Motor team is again must. Uh, I expect jungle terrain to have a lot of obstacles so it's a range of 3 along with indirect fire ability which allows them to fire against enemies that they cannot see is something very good. I I could use choose two tanks. I decided for one, but better. M3 is pretty good tank with its AP attack of 6 and range 1 to 3 and high explosive attack of 8 and defense of 2. It is pretty slow. It has speed of 1, but hope will do the trick. Next, I decided for one half track. It is pretty uh, weak. It has defense of 1, it has only high explosive attack, so it cannot attack enemy armored uh, ta uh, targets, but uh, uh, it is quite sl uh, quite fast, so hope it will provide some protection against non-armored uh, units. And a backbone of my uh, anti-tank uh, uh, staff, this M3 with 75 gun. 
it has very good anti-armor piercing and high explosive attack, 6, very good range, but it is slow and not very well protected. So, that's when it comes to my staff, and now my commanders. I had to take 5 recruits, so all my infantry and M3 will get recruit commanders, and these two half trucks will get uh, some uh, better commanders, Kowalski and Kirk. They, have, they, bo they both have a cool level of 1, so they will be able to reduce their stress from the battles. So, that's our forces. Not much impressive, but uh, I don't have much points. And I still spend 47 points. So I have 4 special points, uh, special operation points in the reserve. Why? Because, uh, this, uh, because of this thing. For every enemy unit will move, which move here, I will have to spend two special operation points. And uh, my idea will be to eliminate two of them at last. But I have to uh, take care that I might no not be able to do so. So I need to keep some special operation points in reserve just in case. So that's why the, the, I uh, keep these four special oper operation points for the worst situation possible if two of these units will reach this zone. If the three of them will reach this zone, I will l lose the game, because you are losing the game when you cannot spend as many special operation points as the game tells you to spend. But let's hope that we will be able to get rid of some of these uh, bastards. That's all for the starting uh, stuff. Uh, uh, we can uh, start our first week. First of all, we have to draw special condition card. And it is battle hardened. Subtract two stress from each of your skilled veteran or ace commanders. Ha ha ha! I may dream of having any skilled veteran of ace commanders. So this is not working at all. So now I have to choose my targets and uh, choose my units uh, and uh, decide who uh, with whom they are going to fight with against. So let's do some planning. Okay, I have a plan. Hope it will work. I'm going to fight with these two battalions. If, uh, if I will be able to eliminate them, I will be able to eliminate uh, this. Uh, 10A and 4A. 2A will remain here. Sadly, I cannot get rid of three of them. <coughs> but taking these two would be a great success. Okay, these two has a lot of anti-tank weapons. Uh, two anti-tank teams and two anti-tank guns. <clears throat> so, I will make <clears throat> my infantry get rid of them, and this uh, squad contains mostly infantry stuff, like uh, rifles, uh, machine guns, mortars, so <clears throat> I will send my half trucks and my tanks, my tank, against the, them. <clears throat> this, uh, these two units are not much strong, uh, they, they, need, they need a couple of points uh, to destroy them, but nothing uh, really uh, amazing, so hope I will be able to eliminate them. If, if this uh, uh, will happen, I will be extremely happy. So let's uh, go and try our luck. I will start with this battalion. So, first of all we have to draw an event card and read the upper part of the card. Keep this card. Discard to immediately discard any event card when it is drawn. So we have to keep this and if we draw any event card that we want, don't, want, don't, don't want to see we can use it to nullify this card. Next, we have to place turn counter on the 5 and next we have to prepare our board. Let's uh, draw. First we have to shuffle terrain tiles and ne the next we have to set them up. It is uh, wise to set them up uh, somewhere like behind your back and then draw randomly. Okay. We are always uh, placing them in this way, so this uh, white arrow is above. So, this is our board. And now we have to check for enemy units. But first, we have to set up our own units. So, how do I'm going to set up my units? I think I will place all both of my infantry squads uh, here, my machine gun here and my mortar here. And now I can advance. 
I can advance uh, my uh, machine gun by one and my infantry team by two. So they will go here. My mortar cannot advance. So that's for my unit and now for enemy units. I have to t t check for these counters. Okay, next thing that we need to do is uh, to set up Japanese forces. So here we have a diagram that showing us on which side, on which hex of these uh, four hexes we have to set up our units. So let's start. This is ten. So here, seven. It is here. Five. It's here. Three. Here. Ten. It is here. Eight, it is here. Seven, here. And six, it's here. So you can see a lot of them <coughs> starts close to our units. And now we have to advance uh, Japanese forces. So all the rifle units have to, uh, have to advance to hexes. So one, two, and one, two. They have to move closer to our units, and each anti-tank unit have to advance one hex. So that's the Japanese advance, and now uh, wait a moment. This is impossible hex market with IM, so do trucks can start uh, can uh, start on them? Armor, light armor, tank, half truck, and armored car cannot enter. Okay, so trucks can enter. This is good. Okay. So we are ready to start our first battle, and now <clears throat> none of our infantry units is fast, and we have no tactics counters. This means that the uh, enemy uh, will be first to go. First of all, we have to make a roll to see uh, their uh, tact uh, their tactical movement. We have to roll with d10 because we rolled on this card. So let's let's go. Hoping we will get something something like here, but well, who knows. So, this is three. So, this is here and there are three groups. Tank, anti-tank crew, armored car. We have no tanks, no armored cars, so this is only for anti-tank crew. Advance to cover. So, each of these units have to advance, but only if it can enter a hex that provides them some cover. So, this anti-tank crew cannot because none of these hexes has a cover. So they stay where they are and they cannot attack any of my units because they have a range of one. So they do nothing. Now this unit enters this hex because this hex has a cover and it can attack one of my crews, uh, one of my rifle teams. Both have the same defense so let's search, say they, they are going to attack this crew and they are attacking me with high explosive. Their high explosive attack is 8, but since they moved, they have... Mm, they have minus 1 modifier because of attack, attack after their movement. So let's take a roll. It is 8 and 6. 8 and 6 and it is minus 1, so it's 7 and 5. So they failed. Good. Good and now uh, that's all for the rifle uh, for the for the 880 tank. So now we, we move to the second group. It contains rifle, half track, and machine guns. No machine guns, no half track, so only rifle teams. It is adjacent cover. This means that uh, rifle teams have to use have to move on the adjacent hexes, but only on these hexes that provides them some cover. So they cannot because none of these hexes has any cover. So they stay where they are, and they are attacking this <coughs> rifle team. They have anti, uh, uh, they have high explosive attack of seven. So they are pretty dangerous. But we were lucky; we have six and one, no hit. Okay, and now this uh, this uh, rifle team moves here because this hex provides some cover, and they have to move on to any of these two adjacent hexes, and they are also attacking my uh, rifle team. But th since they moved, they have minus two. It is five and three, no hit. Okay, so far we are lucky. 
none of enemy units uh, could uh, score a hit on us and now we are moving to the third group truck, motor, anti-tank gun and it says hold so none of these uh, units moves they, are, they stay where they are and they can attack only if they can have any of my units in their range but these two anti-tank guns actually have my units in their range so they, they attack me this gun fires at this unit, this gun fires at that unit and so this gun has a range of 2 so it can fire at me with the firepower of 6 but since it attacks on the 2 hexes range it has minus 1 so it is 5 and 7 so it is minus 1 so it is 4 and 6 so this is one hit on my rifle team my rifle team has a defense of 3 and it is in the high uh, sorry in the in the heavy cover so it has defense of 5 let's see it got 4 so it is it is safe now this gun fires on me uh, same situation minus 1 we got 3 and 3 wow doublet so no hit good it, none of the trucks have any of my units in their range because their range is 1 so that's all for the enemy it's time for us to shine and what are what I'm going to do first of all I'm using this heavy machine gun uh, to fire at this anti-tank uh, unit my uh, uh, my uh, high explosive attack is 2 and my commander has plus 0 on the range of 1 so I have no modifiers I'm firing with the range of 2 and I have 5 and 2 so these are two hits, great, and now uh, they have a defense of three but plus two because of the heavy cover, so they have defense of five and nine and seven, so they are done, good. We get two points, so we already made this battalion halved, so it is 10A, it is halved, but now we still need to eliminate enemy units of, with the value of two of four because we we eliminated the unit of the value of two to finish this battalion so let's go we have some some more stuff to do and now this rifle team fires at this rifle team this is range zero and my high explosive attack is uh, five and uh, they have uh, no modifier from the commander it is six and six so we hit him hit them twice and now they have 2 plus 2, so it's 4. It is 4 and 7, so it is a hit. They are done. Now this rifle team tries to get rid of them. It is 7 and 2, so we scored one hit on them. And now they have to defend themselves with one. They have 8, so they failed. Okay. We managed to de uh, to defeat these uh, these uh, teams, and now my motor. I have no enemy units in my uh, range because motor has a range of three, so I will move this motor once one hex further. Okay, and this concludes turn one. We have turn two, and again, first of all, we have to roll for enemy. Oh. Ten. Oh shit! <laughs> they are they are going to be very active. Okay, first of all, uh, tank, anti-tank, and anti-tank and armored car. AP advance. Uh, AP advance means that they have to uh, to move in the way that they would be able to perform any anti-armor uh, piercing attack. Well, I have no units that are armor piercing, so that they just advance onto this hex, and they are firing at this squad. Let's say they have range of one and they moved. And because they moved, they have uh, minus one penalty. So let's try. Oh, they hit me twice. My God, nine and nine. That was amazing roll. Okay, so now I have to defend myself. I have three plus two, so I have five. And I managed to defend one hit. It is four and it is seven, so they hit me once. So I have to draw one uh, uh, one counter from this now I have to uh, 
shuffle them and draw one of them randomly and let's see uh, this is a side for uh, armor piercing attacks so we have to flip it on the other side and this is exposed so this unit is exposed this means that uh, in, the uh, in the next turn uh, any unit that will fire on this unit will get plus two and this, u and this unit gets rid uh, of this exposed marker when it moves so we will have to move it and it will starts working st within the next turn so not, it's not working now okay that's all for this group now rifle, half track and machine guns no rifle, no half track, no machine guns and third uh, group track, motor, anti-tank gun advance if cannot attack <laughs> so this truck cannot cannot attack, so it advances. This truck also cannot attack because it's it has a range of one, so it advances. And now it cannot attack uh, anyway because trucks cannot attack when moving. Now these two guns can fire at me, and that's what they are going to do. So this gun fires at them. It has a high explosive value of six. It fires on the range of 2, so it has minus 1. It is 4 and 5, it is a miss, and the other gun is the same. It is 4 and 7, so this is a miss and this is a hit, because it is minus 1, so this is, a, uh, this is 6, and it has 6, so this is a hit. So my unit defends with uh, 5, 4, they made it. Okay, so they are safe. That's all for the enemy. Now it's time for us. All we need to do now is to uh, eliminate enemy units with the value of 2. So, eliminating this anti-tank unit should be enough. But I, I will start with firing at this unit with uh, my rifle team here. I am firing with the range of 1 and my stupid commander gives me minus 1 for one hex uh, range attacks. So, I don't like it, but I, I, like I have a choice. It is 10 or 7. So we scored two hits on him. And now his defense is 3. There is no cover. Oh! Fuck. <laughs> he managed to, def to avoid both of our hits. So let's try with them, hope it will be best. I have uh, same situation, but they have... Uh, and they, they have uh, also not very br brilliant commander, so he provides minus one. Two hits, good. But now let's roll for their uh, defense. Five and four, okay, they are done. So we defeat uh, units with the total value of six, so this battalion is no more. We made it. Okay, so let's remove all these units from the board. That was a good beginning, I would say. This battalion is also removed from the game. Our units are... Uh, this, this is exposed and it's not working uh, when the battle is done. So we can just take it. And we have to draw another event, can, event card for the for the end of this uh, battle keep this card uh, this card uh, to reroll any one die or redraw any damage counter so another ca card to keep and to use if needed okay now we have to check for the uh, for uh, for all the stuff that happens when the battle is done first of all uh, we have to mark this battle it was our first week and now uh, we have uh, we fought with 10A we had starting uh, special operation points by 4 we get no additional special points and we destroyed this battalion and we get 2 victory points okay all each our uh, com each commander of our infantry units ga gains 2 experience points and two stress points since none of them has any cool so they cannot get the stress reduced this is bad 
<laughs> and I think that's all for this battle. Yes, that's all for this battle. It was easier battle, I, I believe. But now we have to undergo another battle, which is, I believe, going to be a bit harder. Okay, so this, it was infantry battle. And now we are going to send our mechanized units again and Japanese infantry scouts. So, first of all, we have to draw another event card for this, ba the, the, for this battle. Subtract one stress from all participating commanders. Wow! I mean, this is very good card, but we are just starting and none of our commanders from the units that are going to be, uh, to be in this battle has a stress. Wish I would get, we would get this, start, uh, this card at the end of the battle. It would be much more useful. So far we have uh, no. Okay, so now I shuffled uh, my uh, terrain tiles, placed my counter, so now let's made, uh, make our battlefield. should be like that. Okay, that's all. And now, uh, enemy units. Four rifle, two anti-tank, two MG, two mortars. No tanks. This is good. But there is one nasty an additional rule. Enemy mortars gain plus two range and plus two on attack rolls. So we're going to hate enemy mortars in this battle. Okay, let's set up our units. I will start here. Actually, don't have a, uh, this. This is the best hex to start, I think, because uh, I cannot start here. This is impossible hexes, so mechanized units cannot start here, and uh, this hex is better when when I want to move uh, forward. So none of my none of my units may advance because uh, I cannot advance with my mechanized units. So that's all for my setup, and now time for setup for Japanese units. So rifle teams, nine. Two, nine, and six. Now anti-tank. Four, one, machine guns. Eight, and one, mortars. Three, and one. Okay. So that's all for uh, an enemy unit, and now they can advance. Rifle teams may advance tw two hexes, so one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Anti-tank units may advance once. Machine guns may advance once. So that's uh, how they advance. This is, uh, this is the setup for the game. Now we can start playing. This is going to be a tough battle. You can see I need 4 and 9. 4 to halve this battalion and 9 to eliminate it. So definitely a harder battle, especially since we have 3 units only. Well, they are mechanized units, but... Okay. Japanese tactical movement roll first. It is 1. Okay, so this is 1. So they are not going to make much movement. First of all, tank, anti-tank, armored car. We have no tank and armored car, so anti-tank crew. Halt. So they don't move and they don't move. They don't have any of my units in their fire range. Rifle team, half track machine gun, retreat to cover. So they are moving here, they are moving there, they are moving there, and they are moving here. They are moving here, and they are moving here. And truck, motor, anti-tank gun, retreat to cover. Well, none of motors can retreat, because they are already on the last hexes possible. So that's all for the enemy actions. No good. I would like them to be closer to me, since I can fire at them. And now I'm going to make my actions. Okay, uh, starting with this M3 Lee, it has speed of 1, so it moves here and it is going to fire 
at this rifle team. It has a high, high explosive attack of 8 and it has minus 1 for moving and minus 1 for the commander. So I need 10 to score a hit. And I get 110. No, nope, not bad. Still, I have to check for their defense. It is 4 plus 2. It is 9. So good. One rifle team is out. Now I'm moving with uh, half track. Half track has a range of 1 and speed of 2. So I will move here and I will try to fire at them. I have minus 2 for attack when I'm moving. I have 7 and 9, so I, I have minus 2, so I scored one hit. And now they have 2 plus 2, so it's 4, and they are saved. Okay, and now my M9, M3. 1, 2. It moves like that, and it targets um, this rifle team. It has minus 2 for attack after moving, and it has commander who has no negative modifiers. So it's good. Let's see. I got uh, 8 and 4. 8 and 4 and minus 2. It is 6 and 2. So this is one hit on this rifle team. Let's see if they survived. 7. They did not. So two, two rifle teams are done. We are moving into turn 2. So let's roll for enemy tactical movement. It is 3 now, so I think Japanese units will be more active this turn. And now, uh, anti-tank advance to cover. So this unit cannot advance to cover because there are no cover on the, on the hexes in front of it. So it, it has to stay, it has one hex range so it cannot attack. This unit may advance to cover because this, there is a cover and it may attack my M3. It has uh, anti-tank uh, attack of 7, and, and since it moved, it has minus 1 negative modifier. It has 6 and 5. 6 and 5 minus 1, it, is, it isn't uh, enough to score any hit of my uh, vehicle. This is good. So, that's all, since we don't have tanks or armored cars. Next, rifle, half truck, and machine gun. First, rifle. Uh, they have adjacent cover. So this rifle moves here and it has anti-tank -ata anti attack of zero when it comes to range so it cannot attack my half track. This unit moves here it has no none of my units in its range. And for machine guns they move here and they move there. Okay that's all for them and trucks, motors and anti-tank guns they have to hold. So, uh, mot I have two motors, and none of them has any of my units in their range, so they just stay where they are. So, next turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, first, uh, this is... Uh, I, 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 I didn't make any of my attacks. So, uh, what I'm going to do now... Sorry, I think I... I'm a bit confused now when it comes to the uh, turns. I made a move with Japanese units, yes, and now I am making my, my movement. Okay, that's good. Everything's alright now. So, I will move this Grant, sorry, Lee, and it's going to fire at this anti-tank crew. It fires with 8, minus 1 for attack when moving and minus 1 for the, for the commander. So it has minus 2, 9 and 2, uh, sorry, 9 and 4, so it is 7 and, uh, 7 and 2, both misses. Okay, no, but not good. This uh, gun fires at this anti-tank crew. It has a range firepower of 6 and commander provides no modifier, but since we are firing on the range of 2, we got minus 1. So let's try. Oh, sorry, I get to roll again. Oh wow! 
10 and 9. We got minus 1, so it's 8 and 9. So th these are two hits. Great. And now it is, uh, it is 5 and 6. So 5, they, they are protected because 2 plus 3, but they are not protected against 6. So they are eliminated. And thanks to this, I think we managed to halve this battalion, yes? 4A is halved. And now this uh, half truck fires at this anti-tank crew. So it has 6 and commander provides no negative modifier, so we are just rolling. And it is 9 and 1. So this is one hit on them. And uh, they, ha they are in the heavy cover. 8. Good. They are done. So we have 6. Now we need to eliminate three more points to win this battle. I think it is possible. Next turn. We have to roll for Japanese tactics. It is one. Hmm. Again, they are not going to be much active. So, tank and anti-tank armored crew. No anti-tank, no anti-tank. Rifle half track machine gun. Rifle and they have retreat to cover, so they are retreating and machine guns also retreating and uh, half trucks, sorry, and trucks, motors and anti-tank guns retreat to cover ok, so motors uh, cannot retreat so they are just stay where they are this is no good, I wish they come closer to me so I can kill them with ease but I cannot so, all I have to do now is to move I am moving this uh, half truck here and it is going to fire on them and this is going to likely to be impossible shot of course this tank moves here also tries to score a hit on them impossible shot and this gun moves here to score a hit on them oh I believe, yes, I believe I scored one hit because this is nine. So one hit and they are in the light cover. So they have two plus one. This is three and ten. Yeah, we made it. They are gone. Good. At last uh, we scored some, uh, we, they suffered some casualties. So it's one, two, uh, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two points. We need two, just the two points to win this battle. Okay, so now roll for enemy tactical movement. And it is six. Okay, this is uh, tank, anti-tank, armored car. There are no, t no such units. Yeah. Uh, rifle, half truck, machine gun, advance to cover. So, this rifle advances here. It cannot fire at me because it has an uh, anti-armor-piercing range of zero. This advances and it cannot attack me as well because it has no armor-piercing ability. And this one advances here. Okay, that's all for them. And now uh, motors. Cautious advance. They can only advance if they cannot at be attacked. So if they would enter this, if this motor would enter this hex, it might be attacked. Same goes to these. Any of these hexes are in my line of sight. So they are going to fire at me instead of uh, trying to uh, move. So this motor fires at this half truck. They have armor piercing value of 2. And uh, they are firing on the two hexes. So they have uh, a minus 1 modifier. Try. They have 1 and 4. These are two misses. And this uh, motor does the same here trying to hit my... This is 4 and 5, 2 misses. Good. Now it's time for me. I think they are... I am happy that they moved closer, because now I can fire at them. <laughs> okay, so this um, uh, half truck fires at this machine gun. Uh, half truck has a fire anti uh, uh, higher explosive uh, fire power of 6. And it has quite a competent commander, so it has no negative modifier from the commander. So... We scored one hit. Good. And now 3 plus 1 because of the light cover. It is 9. 
they are going down. This half track is going to fire at them. It has six and again competent commander so no modifiers. So we are just rolling twice. Oh. Wow, two zeros. Amazing. Two hits. Now they have to survive. They have they are in the light cover. Three and eight. They are done. So I think this is enough. One, three, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Okay, this is ten. So we won this battle. Impressive. And we suffered no casualties. This is even more impressive. I don't think many battles when I uh, suffered no casualties, but we made it. So, uh, we have to, uh, we can uh, remove this uh, card and we have to draw another event card to see what is going to happen now. Gain plus one, uh, oh, sorry, if you destroy the battalion, gain plus one victory point. Great! <laughs> We get another. We, we're going to get another victory point thanks to this card. So let's place these counters on their cards again, and let's check for our lock sheet. So it was a battle against 4A, and now uh, each of these commander gains uh, two points. And now uh, Kirk and Kowalski have cool. They are cool guys, so they have their stress reduced by one. So Kashik, who is commander of Lee, gets one stress, gets sorry, gets two stress, and these the guys gets one stress. We uh, started with four special operation points since we spent none of them. We get no additional special operation points. We destroyed enemy battalion and we get four for destroying this and one for this card. So we get five. So now, for now, we have seven uh, victory points. This is still small. This is enough to get poor result. So nothing impressive. But the most important thing is that we managed to get, get rid of these two battalions that, are, that were here and were, and were dangerously close to the friendly transit. So these are, these are uh, two battles for this week. Uh, we don't get uh, much uh, of uh, we we, uh, we made everything I, I wanted to do even even more since I didn't expect that I will be able to defeat both of these battalions I hoped to eliminate at last one of them and maybe half the other and uh, instead I managed to eliminate all of them and now none of my units is damaged so this is good I have four special operation points in use. So uh, I, ca I, I could uh, spend five to reduce stress of all my commanders. Sadly, I haven't spe five special operation points, so I'm not uh, able to do so. And now we are going to do uh, enemy battalion movement thing stuff. Uh, so they are here. Sorry, I have to set up set my camera. So you can see everything, yeah. And now I have to roll for each of these battalions. Uh, because of this card, I have to add plus one. And let me check if there are no any special rules on any other uh, of uh, battalion cards. Because sometimes some battalions have an another special rules like this for example oh uh, you can see uh, at the end of the move, uh, move uh, at the end of the move battalion step advance these battalions battalion so first we have to roll for all these battalions and next this battalion has to advance by one after all the movements are done so let's start with this i have to roll this is assault 10 so it moves here. This is bad. Now this one is also assault battalion. Three plus one from the card. So it is halt. Good. It is not moving. Now for the supply battalions. First with this battalion. Four plus one is five. It stays. Next for this one. Eight plus one is nine. It moves. And now for the command battalions. 
this one is fixed it it uh, it doesn't move and now for the for this unit 4 plus 1 5 it is hold so it's not moving and now 5s has to advance by 1 okay so this is enemy movement and now this unit is in, in the friendly transit and because of that we have to lost two to lose two special operation points so we have four special operation points and now we have only two so this is not good but you can see it was worth to keep some in reserve in case of such situations and this concludes first week of the battle we are we are in the pretty good position so far we survived uh, we have no uh, dam damaged units and uh, we managed to destroy two enemy battalions so i think that the first week went pretty good hope the other week uh, other two, uh, uh, other two weeks will be fine as well thank you for watching and see you next time